Hi, how are you doing? Today is an amazing day, okay? Two days ago, I received my Jackson SL2Q Winter Storm. It's a new 2019 model and it looks absolutely stunning. But the thing that is so amazing about today is that I'm going to plug it into my EVHs for you. Now, first of all, what I want to say is that last year I didn't order uh, any Jackson Pro Series. The Pro Series are made in Indonesia, okay? Apart from the Jackson Dinkies uh, in the Pro Series, they are made in the Mexican factory. And for me personally, that Fender Mexican factory has been a touch ahead quality-wise of the Indonesian factory. Now, one thing I will say is not anymore. Okay, the Indonesian factory is now on a par with the Mexican factory and I am so impressed with this guitar. Don't forget that the Jackson Soloist is a much more complex build than say a Charvel Bolton or a Dinky Bolton. It is a much more, it has binding, it has a neck through. There's things about the build that are just more complex than uh, say a Charvel Socal. So for the Indonesian factory to uh, be able to put together the, the Pro Series soloists at the same quality as uh, the Mexican factory puts together the Charvels and at the same price point, it is a massive achievement. And yeah, I'm blown away by the guitar. It looks stunning. I'm going to show you it now anyways. Okay, so I've got the guitar on my knee. I just want to show you how flawless this guitar is, if possible at all. The fretwork, I've tried to do this on my other video where you have a real close up look, but the fretwork is stunning. These are more rolled off and uh, are more perfect than my Charvels. And Charvels are quite well known for uh, rolling off their frets and making them nice and smooth. They're not just, uh, they, they don't even bump out, you can't even feel the frets unless you really tilt your fingers quite far forward like that and you can feel them bumping over, but they are not sharp at all, look. And it is a beautiful, beautiful neck on this guitar. You can see how buttery and smooth it is from the finish there. The main thing I love about this guitar is the back. I like uh, old fashioned Les Pauls that weigh a ton. This is a pretty heavy guitar, this is mahogany body. And if you look at the back, look at that. It's a deep, rich, beautiful mahogany back on this guitar. And I really like that about Les Pauls. And it's nice that you've got a guitar like this and it's still got that classic, beautiful uh, finish on it. Like I say, it's quite weighty. The top on this one, um, it's not as much, uh, it's a maple veneer, obviously, um, but it's not as much, uh, what do you call it? It's like a spot. It's more got, got more of a spalted kind of look, if you can see, uh, rather than a, a quilt on there. But it's very nice. Um, the Floyd is great. It came, and I don't know whether some people at uh, Jackson HQ in uh, England, uh, you know, at the Fender uh, headquarters, had had a little uh, look or a little play or whatever, but it was very in tune to say it was a brand new guitar. I think the B and the G were slightly out. The nut was locked on and all I had to do was fine tune them down here. Obviously they come in uh, standard tuning. The switch is really quite stiff and clunky, which I like. That's probably a quality switch that's not gonna uh, die. And the jack as well, uh, when I when I plug it in, it's quite a big clunk to get it in. The headstock has also um, a veneer on it. I don't know if you can see that. It's not quite as defined as the one on the body, but obviously every guitar will be slightly different, but it has got um, uh, like a, a quilted veneer on the top of there as well. And the logo looks really stunning. There's black binding all the way up the headstock on the edges and up the ebony board. Black binding all around the body. It's just stunning it sounds great and it plays beautiful this is a shredder i'm not a shredder everybody on my channel knows i'm not a shredder but this is a shredder's guitar if you want a guitar that's totally comfortable and uh just plays itself almost then this is uh 
an ideal guitar. You're not going to find a guitar that plays better than this if you're a shredder, if I'm being honest. Okay, you might find some that's good probably, but you're not going to find one that plays better. So, without further ado, I'm going to plug this guitar into my EVH. I really want to hear it through the EVH. I will do it in, um, it's in standard tuning now. The setup's that nice that I really don't want to change. I don't want to mess with the setup. I could get this action a touch lower so it plays even better by just bringing the Floyd down. But right now I'm going to leave it in this setup. It's in standard tuning. I will play some riffs in standard tuning, which I'm absolutely 100% not used to playing in, uh, in standard E. And then I will use the drop, uh, the Digitech drop pedal, and I will go and play some riffs also in uh, B standard. Okay? I'm not used to standard tuning, so please bear with me, but... Right, without further ado, let's go. Also, huge, 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 huge thanks to uh, James and Max at Jackson Guitars in the UK for sorting me out this guitar and getting it to me super, super quick. Thank you very much and uh, enjoy the video. Please, please leave in the comments what you think of the guitar. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And I've spent more time looking at the guitar than actually playing it because... I just love it. I love the way it plays. I love the way it looks. It's uh, it's fantastic. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> Oh, my God. 